Hi, this is Daryl with True Image Video. I wanted to do a video uh, about cases. So I ran across these rigid cases. Home Depot, they're pretty tough. They are actually watertight and they're tough. I mean, I have no doubt that you could take this thing and throw it across the street and it would tumble a bit and be fine. I'm not planning on doing that, but <laughs> now, of course, the one thing you have to deal with is that you got a big orange rectangle here that says rigid, and you know, the video snobs will be out and say, Oh my gosh, how could he use a construction case? But you know, you could put a label over that, or maybe even paint that if it was a big deal. And uh, actually, I, I think I am going to put labels on them. Uh, just because I kind of customized them a bit. I got a few of them. For instance, this one here is all my GoPro stuff. Uh, GoPro mounts, some cables, and GoPro light, cases, whoops, cases. It's worked out pretty well. I put a little foam on there to hold things in place here, some foam on the bottom. I took one of the cups and made a foam cutout for uh, the GoPro that worked out pretty nice you know so the thing with the a case like this is yeah you, you know you got to do a little work maybe to make it do what you want it to do or make it effective for you but that's kind of the point of, of DIY uh, stuff is that you, you do it yourself so anyway I, I've got one of these for GoPro I also set one up For audio so you know I got all my audio stuff in here I got some mics cables microphone holders and mounts things like that whatever I can fit in here and uh, once again glued some foam in there that I had you know just to stop uh, things from bouncing around I mean once again you got to do a little work the nice thing about these guys is that they all stack and they'll actually snap together. And hopefully you guys have watched the video I did on, on the power box. Well, I actually reworked the power box into one of these cases. And so I made it a little bit cleaner, still have a, the cord that pulls out so that you can plug in and you got your outlet, you still got 12 volts. But more importantly, you know, I put it in one of these uh, rigid boxes. And I'll just show you one more of these boxes. These are about 30 bucks, but I did splurge for this guy, which is the big one with wheels. I believe this one was about 60. Now I haven't really done any customizing on this one yet, but you know, I plan on setting this up so I can put some cameras in there, any other equipment, larger items that are not going to fit in the smaller ones. But what's really nice about this rigid system is that you can take all your boxes, lock them in place, You got a nice sturdy handle, you got sturdy wheels, you know, it's solid, it's just super convenient. They also have uh, a case that's about, I think it's about one and a half times uh, the thinner ones. Maybe, maybe, yeah, about one and a half or two times. I didn't really need one, so I didn't get one, but it does exist if that's something that you would need. Anyway, I just really love these things. The price is super solid super convenient lock all this together and you know if you're going to have it sitting somewhere that uh, you would need it locked then you can do that and it's just a good setup for all you do it yourselfers out there